Hi friends, up to this we covered. Have you remembered right all five drivers? How we can work with the type one, type two, type three, type four, type five? Sir, every JDBC driver with every JDBC driver, I explained a demo program, sir. Now my requirement is just let me summarize for every driver which jar file is required. What is the driver class name? What is the JDBC URL? If all the things are available in the single snap, so that, sir, you people can able to remember, can able to understand very easily, right? Are you getting? Sir, let me summarize all JDBC, sir, uh, all JDBC drivers related technical terminology, right? Have a look one, sir, summary of all JDBC drivers. Are you getting? Now, driver type, required jar file, Next, what is the driver class name? And then JDBC URL. Driver to driver while working. Sir, if you are while developing the program, sir, driver to driver, which things will be changed, sir? Jar file, driver class name, JDBC URL. That's why compulsory you people should be aware clearly, right? Sir, just observe, I'm talking about type 1 driver, sir. Type 1 driver, which is also known as, uh, which is also known as JDBC ODBC bridge driver. Type 1 driver which is provided automatically which is provided at the part of JDK by Sun Microsystems. Are you getting that at the part of Java, sir, type 1 driver is coming. That's why for type 1 driver, okay, no jar file is required. Have you observed? It is the part of Java. Once you install JDK, automatically type 1 driver is going to come. That's why for type 1 driver, no jar file is required. Remember. Next, uh, type 1 driver, what is the driver class name? Sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver are you getting sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver next uh, what is jdbc url jdbc colon odbc next uh, we have to configure dsn for type 1 driver compulsory we have to configure what dsn right okay because internally type 1 driver required odbc driver odbc re odbc driver required database information odbc driver collect the database information from dsn only that's why we require to configure dsn data source name for type 1 driver that's all sir but very unfortunate from 1.8 version onwards type 1 driver support is not available because of its low performance because of its platform independent nature like this right sir next uh, what is the next one type 2 driver sir a beautiful driver sir for oracle related which is also known as oca driver right type 2 oca driver now sir if you want uh, if you want to use type 2 driver which jar file we have to place in the class path sir based on your oracle version sir ojdbc 14 dot jar if you are using Oracle, uh, Oracle 10G, if you are using Oracle 11G, OJDBC 6 jar, dot jar. If you are using Oracle 12C, OJDBC 7 dot jar. Are you getting that? Like, uh, sir, this is the required jar file. You have to place this jar file in the class path if you want to work with the type 2 driver, right? Next, what is the driver class name? Driver class name, Oracle dot, JDBC dot, driver dot, Oracle driver are oracle dot jdbc dot oracle driver sir first one is the old one now these days recommended to use one oracle dot jdbc dot oracle driver next uh, sir what is the jdbc url for type 2 driver right sir very simple jdbc colon oracle colon oci8 colon at the rate xc what is the xc sir system id have you remembered xc is nothing but one system id for every database has a unique system id how to find and so on i clearly explained in the last videos right observe that sir 8 8 indicates oracle 8 until Oracle 8, sir, this 8 such type of terminology is required. But Oracle 11G, 12C, Oracle 10G, this 8 is not required. That's why either OCI 8 or OCI, that's all you have to take. Are you getting right? Next, okay. Type 3 driver, sir. Sir, it is the middleware driver. Have you remembered, right? Internally, some middleware server, it internally it is going to you. We require to install IDS server. Sir, IDS server provided type 3 driver. That type 3 driver we are using. Sir, which jar file we have to install? 
JDK 13 DRV dot jar. Which jar file we have to install, sir? JDK 13 DRV dot jar we have to place in the class path. Then only we can able to work with the type 3 driver provided by IDS server. Are you getting? Sir, what is the driver class name? IDS dot SQL dot IDS driver. Are you getting IDS dot SQL dot IDS driver? Next, what is the JDBC URL for, for type 3 driver? JDBC colon ids colon local host sir colon 12 are you getting right the mission on which ids server is running next 12 is default port number where ids server is running next and after the internally ids server can communicate with the database either by type 1 type 2 type 3 if it is the type 1 we require to configure it system dsn sir con dsn is equal to sys dsn 3 everyone can able to understand sir this is about the type 3 driver right next uh, type 4 have you observed type 4 under type 2 driver everything is the same but only jdbc url will be changed sir type 4 which jar files i have to use sir if you are using oracle 10g ojdbc 14.jar if you are using oracle 6 oracle 11g then ojdbc 6.jar oracle 12c ojdbc 7.jar same as which is jar file for type 2 driver right next uh, what is the driver class name same sir for type 2 whatever driver class is required here also same oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver it is the old version so the people are going to use but currently oracle dot jdbc dot oracle driver you can use next uh, this driver also known as a thin driver thin driver because this type 4 driver can communicate directly with the database without taking support of any extra component that's why this driver is the thin driver right sir jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host sir on which mission oracle is running next on which port number oracle is running what is the sid what is the system id or what is the service name we require to specify that is it clear for all of it okay sir this is about type 4 driver right next uh, type 5 driver type 5 sir for type 5 driver okay it is not industry standard driver it is not industry recognized driver sir there are several limitations are there for type 4 to overcome these limitations okay by handling these limitations okay a new architecture came in the picture which is nothing but type 5 driver right this is a type 5 driver provided by third party vendors uh, like progress data direct in my demo program i use which driver sir progress data direct software company provided type 5 driver right i install sir what is the which jar file we have to use oracle dot jar have you remembered if it is the type 4 if it is the type 4 based on oracle version we have to use the corresponding jar file so if you want to work with multiple versions of oracle database multiple jar files are required but type 5 driver one jar file for any oracle version you are getting the type 5 for one jar file for any oracle version what is that sir oracle dot jar you may use oracle 10g oracle 8 oracle 8 a 9 9 like 10g like for any oracle version a single jar file is enough that is the biggest specialty of type 5 driver right sir what is the driver class name com dot dd tech dot jdbc because dd uh, data director technologies are tech tech sir com dot dd tech dot jdbc dot oracle dot oracle driver have you observed sir is it uh, more or less the uh, same as type 4 driver class name or not yes the only different it is the enhanced version of type 4 driver only type 5 is nothing but it is extra facilities with type 4 is nothing but type 5 sir enhanced version of type 4 is type 5 okay next what is uh, jdbc url sir jdbc colon data direct colon oracle colon slash slash local host colon 1521 1521 sir the mission on which oracle is running next the port number on which oracle is running next the service name is equal to xe 
clear for all of you there sir this is the small table if you want to work with all types of cherry bc drivers including type 5 driver also i hope everyone can able to understand the architecture of type 4 type 5 exactly same make sure sir type 2 type 4 jar files are same driver class name is the same only difference is only difference is jdbc urls clear right sir if you have clear picture like this then you can able to memorize easily sir you can work with any driver jdbc program is always same only changes are jar file jdbc url and a driver class name clear for all of you the same thing just uh, i kept on the screen also just uh, have a look once uh, sir have you observed same 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 thing uh, i i kept on the screen also right okay so this is summary of all jdbc five drivers right type one driver next uh, uh, type two type three type four type five sir same same thing only just uh, i kept uh, based on that uh, happily you can take sir in our material each and every line i included already just go through the material so that you people can feel more comfortable with this right okay that's all sir sir now are you feeling comfortable with uh, all types of drivers or not are you in a position to work with any any jdbc driver or not yes sir can you please explain about jdbc drivers minimum 10 hours we should be in a position to give left and right to the interview person what is our creature of type 1 how to use a type 1 what are advantages limitations next similarly worry about type 2 architecture advantages limitations how to use like every driver you should be in a position to explain next what is the need what is the architecture limitations like you should aware sir clear for all of you right in the next with this with these things types of drivers working with all the drivers completed next i'm ready to start programming be ready 25 jdbc programs we are ready to discuss so that you people can feel more comfortable right once the basics of those 25 programs completed then what are coding standards next uh, what coding standards we have to follow next and after that how to work on ide next uh, how to work with alternative databases like mysql these are things i will explain are you able to understand right that's all thank you sir